on fire! Ah. Oh no! A bike's on fire! If only I checked my electrical connectors. Oh, who can help me? Never fear, power sports enthusiasts, for it is I. Commander Connector from RM Stater's Echo Squad, the electrical connector help operatives. I can tell that this fire was caused by old corroded connectors. With knowledge of RM Stater's connector circle of death and proper application of RM Stater's electrical connector kits and tools, you can be back on the road in no time. Hey, I'm Evan, Head of Engineering for RM Stator. Uh, as you learn from Commander Connector, it's super important to maintain the connectors on your motorcycle. They can cause lots of problems. As a fellow member of the RM Stator Echo Squad, I'm going to show you our connector circle of death and explain why that is so important. Okay, so let's get started looking at the RM Stator connector circle of death. So the key to this whole chart is this step right here. High current flows through small contact points. That's kind of uh, the main reason that these connectors melt and fail. And I'm going to start here and kind of go around and explain how this all happens. Um, <clears throat> when you have small contact points, you're going to get increased heat between the, the two points where the connectors touch. That current flow right there um, is going to heat up more than the connectors designed for. Um, the next step, kind of like I explained, is excessive heat is transmitted to the connector's body. So that starts the process of breaking down the uh, plastic shell of the connector itself. Um, when that happens, the electrical protection barrier breaks under heat and loses its protective properties. So as the, uh, the plastic starts to get hot and melt, the terminals inside the connector can actually shift a little bit and that's going to start causing the weak connection points. Without the insulation barrier, the heat raises and the plastic body melts and becomes distorted. This is kind of like I, I just said, and this picture kind of illustrates that. Um, then the distorted plastic body changes the position of the connectors, and mispositioned connectors create irregular contact points between pins. And that leads us back to the start, where we have high current flowing through a really poor contact point. So this is kind of a chain reaction, and once it gets started, um, you can't really stop it. So it is important to maintain the connectors and replace them with when necessary. I'm going to show you some examples of some bad connectors, too. So here's a good example of a really badly damaged connector. Um, this is a common uh, style of connector used on a lot of motorcycle stators and ATV stators. Um, you can see how badly this one is melted. Um, this was uh, on a stator that was used with um, a regulator that had failed, um, which caused uh, this whole chain reaction to start happening. So you can see as it, it, it gets hot and it, it starts to deform and the terminals inside actually shift so they're no longer clipped in their correct position. This can cause them to press out the back of the connector as the locking mechanism fails, um, or it can just cause them to sit crooked in their housing so they don't make good contact. Um, here's what happens when that connector ultimately fails. You can end up obviously destroying your stator. This is kind of a, a good example of showing you with failed windings here. And I'll show you another one. There's another uh, failed stator with a bad connector. So two things can happen um, once that, uh, well, one thing can, let's talk about this. One thing can cause the connector to fail, especially, and that is your rectifier failing. So when the diodes in your rectifier fail and you can't pass current on from your charging system to the battery, um, you have a lot of current flowing that's not being consumed well. So the next uh, highest point of resistance in that chain is the connector between the stator and the, the regulator rectifier. Um, that can very quickly lead to this situation with a completely melted and destroyed connector. Um, so I hope that illustrates um, some of the problems uh, with the failed connectors and why it's so important to keep them clean to make sure your charging system works well and lasts. So we're going to talk about uh, some of the other uh, ways you can repair and maintain your connectors now.